The Phantom is an American adventure comic strip, first published by Lee Falk in February 1936. The main character, The Phantom, is a fictional costumed crime fighter who operates from the fictional African country of Bangala. The character has been adapted for television, film and video games. The series began with a daily newspaper strip on February 17, 1936, followed by a Color Sunday strip on May 28, 1939. Both are still running as of 2020. In 1966, King Features stated that The Phantom was being published in 583 newspapers worldwide. At its peak, the strip was read by over 100 million people daily. Falk worked on The Phantom until his death in 1999. Since his death, the comic strip has been written by Tony DePaul. Since 2016, it has been drawn by Mike Manley, Monday to Saturday, and, since 2017, Jeff Weigel, Sunday. Previous artists on the newspaper strip include Ray Moore, Wilson McCoy, Bill Ligment, Cy Berry, George Oleson, Keith Williams, Fred Fredericks, Graham Nolan, Eduardo Barreto, Paul Ryan, and Terry Beatty. In the strip, the fandom was 21st in a line of crime fighters which began in 1536, when the father of British sailor Christopher Walker was killed during a pirate attack. Swearing an oath on the skull of his father's murderer to fight evil, Christopher began a legacy of the phantom which would pass from father to son. Nicknames for the phantom include a ghost who walks, guardian of the eastern dark and the man who cannot die. Unlike many other superheroes, the phantom has no superpowers, he totally relies on his strength, intelligence and the myth of his immortality to take action against the forces of evil. The 21st phantom is married to Diana Palmer, they met while he studied in the United States and they had two children, Kit and Hello Eyes. He has a trained wolf named Devil and a horse named Hero, and like the 20 previous phantoms he lives in the ancient Skull Cave. The Phantom was the first fictional hero to wear the skin-tight costume which has become a hallmark of comic book superheroes, and was the first shown in a mask with no visible pupils, another superhero standard. Comics historian Peter Coogan has described the Phantom as a transitional figure, since the Phantom has some of the characteristics of pulp magazine heroes such as the Shadow and the Spider and earlier jungle heroes such as Tars and as well as anticipating the features of comic book heroes such as Superman, Batman, and Captain America. After the success of Mandrake the Magician, King Features Syndica tasked Falk to develop a new feature. His first effort was to write and draw a strip about King Arthur and his knights. When King Features rejected the strip, Falk developed the Phantom, a mysterious, costume crime fighter. He planned the first few months of the story, and drew the first two weeks as a sample. Fascinated by myths and legends, such as King Arthur and El Cid, and the modern fictional characters Zorro, Tarzan and the Jungle Book's Mowgli, Falk envisioned the character as wealthy playboy Jimmy Wells by day and the crime-fighting Phantom by night. During his first story, The Singh Brotherhood, before disclosing that Wells was the Phantom, Falk changed the setting to a jungle and made the Phantom an apparently mortal, mythic figure. Thinking that there were already too many characters called the Phantom, including the Phantom Detective and find a name he liked better and decided to stay with the Phantom. In the A&D American cable TV documentary The Phantom, comic strip Crusader, 12, Falk explained that Greek busts inspired him to emit the Phantom's pupils when the character was wearing his mask. He incorrectly believed that ancient Greek busts had no pupils. They were painted on originally and faded with time, which he said gave them an inhuman, awe-inspiring appearance. 9. In an interview for Comic Book Marketplace, Falk said the Phantom's skin-tight costume was inspired by Robin Hood, who wore tights in films and on stage. Falk was a Shakespeare enthusiast and the comic included several references to Shakespeare. These include the third Phantom playing Juliet in the original premiere of Romeo and Juliet as well as marrying Shakespeare's niece. The Phantom began as a daily strip on February 17, 1936 with the Singh Brotherhood, written by Falk and drawn by him for two weeks and then by Ray Moore, assistant to artist Phil Davis on Mandrake the Magician. That year, the Phantom was serialized in the Australian Woman's Mirror.
a Sunday phantom strip was added on May 28, 1939. During World War II Falk joined the Office of War Information, where he became chief of the Radio Foreign Language Division. Moore also served during the war and left the strip to his assistant, Wilson McCoy. When Moore returned he worked sporadically on the strip until 1949, when McCoy succeeded him. 19. During McCoy's tenure, the Phantom appeared in thousands of newspapers worldwide and was smuggled by boat into Nazi-occupied Norway during the war. Phantom was a password for the Norwegian resistance movement. McCoy died unexpectedly in 1961. Carmen Infantino and Bill Ligment, who later drew several Phantom stories for comic books, filled in before a successor was found in Cyberry. 21. During Barry's early years he and Falk modernized the strip, laying the foundation for what is considered the Phantom's modern look. Under Barry, Bengal became a democracy and the character of President Laman de Luaga was introduced. Barry worked on the Phantom for over 30 years until his 1994 retirement, drawing a total of about 11,000 strips. His longtime assistant George Ollison remained on the strip as penciler, with Keith Williams inking the daily strip. The Sunday strip was inked by Eric Dosher until Fred Fredericks succeeded him in 1995. Falk continued to script The Phantom and Mandrake until his death on March 13, 1999. His last daily and Sunday strip stories, Terror at the Opera and the Kidnappers, were finished by his wife Elizabeth after her husband pulled off his oxygen mask in the hospital to dictate the storyline. After Falk's death King Features cooperated with European comic publisher Egmand, publisher of the Swedish Phantom and Magazine, which changed from publishing Phantom stories in comic book format to providing the newspaper strip as well, by adapting their own Phantom comic book stories into the strip format. Phantom and writers Tony DePaul and Clays Riemerthy alternated as writers of the newspaper strip after Falk died, with DePaul handling the daily strips and Riemerthy the Sunday ones. DePaul would later become the strip's sole writer. Some stories were adapted from those originally published in Phantom N. In 2000, Allison and Fredericks retired from the Sunday strip. It was continued by comic book artist Graham Nolan who had drawn three Phantom and covers. In early 2005 Ollies and Ann Williams left the Daily Strip after Ollies and retired, and artist Paul Ryan, who had worked on the Phantom and comic stories and had been a fan of the character since childhood, took over the Daily Strip. Ryan succeeded Nolan as artist on the Sunday Strip in 2007. On July 31, 2011, Eduardo Barreto became the Sunday Page artist. He died after only a few months, and Ryan temporarily took over the Sunday page again on January 15, 2012, which featured a memorial to Barreto. Ryan also did the following week's strip, before Perry Beatty became Barreto's replacement. Ryan died at his home unexpectedly on March 7, 2016. Mike Manley succeeded Ryan as artist on the fandom, beginning with a strip dated May 30, 2016. Beatty stepped down as Sunday Wordist in 2017, and was replaced by Jeff Weigel.